that there are all sorts of different programs we've been putting forward over the past years that are going at solving the housing problem by creating a, more units here, creating more methods of doing that there. There was one thing missing, and in our conversations with uh, municipalities across the country about what are the, the, the final barriers, what are the biggest barriers to getting more homes built faster in this country, and that's where we created the Housing Accelerator. And that's where we roll up our sleeves and work not with all municipalities across the country, just the ones that are willing to be ambitious about changing the way housing is made in this country. This is not about you know, a single new project. It's about an approach to building housing across the country that will unlock thousands, oh, we're talking over 650,000 new homes unlocked across this country over the coming years by the Housing Accelerator investments. And like I said, it doesn't go to everywhere. It goes to the places that are willing to step up in really ambitious ways. Uh, for example, Thunder Bay saying now every single lot has four units as of right. And even in low density areas, you can build four stories everywhere. Those changes to zoning give people a lot more opportunities and choices uh, when it comes to building more density. And of course, uh, making sure we're building more density uh, near city centers, uh, near uh, transit st stops. These are things that are going to make a difference in quality of life. Shifting uh, in terms of, of permitting as well. How we're uh, doing away with some of the red tape and accelerating the processes for being able to build more homes. And here in Thunder Bay, they've done a lot looking at uh, underutilized properties, either public lands or, or uh, nonprofit lands that they can actually build on and put towards building more density, more homes faster. There are all sorts of things that can be done to improve the way the system works to build more homes faster. Indeed, the work that is being done by Housing Accelerator investments across the country is going to unlock more of the kind of industrial strategy on home building that we see right here. Whether it's modular homes, whether it's prefabricated, whether it's uh, you know, talking about using AI and robotics to build more homes. I know you've been talking about doing uh, a lot more technological upgrades to be able to build more homes faster here. These are the kinds of things that get unlocked across the country. So right here in Thunder Bay, just like uh, Patty, a few, uh, few weeks ago, I think you were in Marathon with a close to $2 million announcement that's going to unlock the Housing Accelerator Fund there, which uh, is going to be, uh, make a big difference, particularly with the economic opportunities that are coming in there. The investment here in Thunder Bay of $20.7 million is going to allow uh, the, this community to grow faster, to build more homes, and to be better able to support all the opportunities that are coming uh, and that we're seeing across this region. That's what this is about. Le Fonds pour l'accélération du logement, c'est une façon d'investir pour changer la façon qu'on bâtit des maisons à travers le pays. C'est pas juste une question uh, de faire une annonce sur ce projet ou ci ou ce projet-là. Bien sûr que ça, ça fait partie de notre approche. Ça, c'est un, un changement dans la façon uh, qu'on fait du zonage, qu'on accélère la densification, qu'on élimine la paperasse et qu'on accélère les processus pour que les gens puissent bâtir des, euh, des maisons plus rapidement. Ça va changer la donne sur comment on va répondre aux défis de notre pays. Because the challenges of this country are, we are growing. There are sectors of our economy that are booming, but the cost of housing, the cost of rent, on top of the cost of groceries, the cost of fuel because of global factors are a huge pressure right now. And if we can increase the supply of housing right across the country as we continue to grow, as we continue to bring in the workforce we need from around the world, as we continue to make sure that Indigenous peoples can be full partners in the success and the prosperity we're building as a country, well, that changes the future that people can see themselves in. People who are wanting to retire and, yes, uh, get rid of a home that's become too large for them, but don't want to leave their neighborhood. Want to be able to still uh, know where they are, not have to go to some far off place. Those are solutions that we're bringing forward with uh, the Housing Accelerator and the, par the partnerships with municipalities. 
young families who uh, getting their start, who can't see a path towards purchasing their own home the way previous generations had. This is something we're solving for. People who are you know, looking at rents that are just too expensive to be able to even get the start in life they want to have, that's part of what we're solving for as well. And this is a, a challenge that obviously requires multiple different solutions, which is what we're putting forward, but fundamentally requires us to work together. The federal government, the provincial government, municipal governments, indigenous governments. Requires us to bring in uh, innovative partners uh, like, uh, like uh, Smart Modular. Uh, work with co-ops and non-profits and the public sector to actually grow uh, opportunities for affordable housing. Work with developers and project leads to make these things happen. The kind of partnership that Canadians have always shown. An ability to roll up our sleeves, lean on each other and get things done. That's what we're capable of as a country. That's what we've been able to do when we've solved big housing challenges in the past, whether it was the, uh, the, the post-war uh, growth uh, after World War II or the baby boom coming of age and wanting to buy homes. We have solved housing challenges before in this country. And right now, including in places like this with the support of federal investment, we're doing it again. So it's an incredible pleasure to be back here in Thunder Bay. Uh, great opportunity to share some good news with everyone, but also uh, reaffirm our commitment to building a better future for all Canadians. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.